Today, we'll be taking a look at the 2015 Ford F-150, sharing information you need to know for complete, safe, and quality repairs. This vehicle is built with an all-aluminum body structure that sits atop an HSLA 550 frame. Ford also has built a number of advanced safety features in America's most popular vehicle. Ford has done a great job of building this truck with repairability in mind. For evidence of that, we don't need to look any further than the apron tube. The previous generation truck had an apron tube that extended into the cab and was spot welded to the cowl. To remove that apron tube, the instrument panel, cross car beam, and other interior pieces needed to be removed, creating a rather intrusive repair. On this generation, the apron tube is attached to the A-pillar and doesn't require removal of interior parts. With the hood, fender, door, and bumper removed, the rivets and flow drill screws are accessible for part replacement. Ford has designed a lot of repair options into this truck, making it one of the most repairable vehicles on the market today. For more information on that, visit iCar.com and register for the 2015 Ford F-150 Structural Repair Training Course. Ford offers a number of safety and driver assist features for this truck. It's important to identify these systems during damage analysis because a lot of them require calibration following part replacement. One of the unique options available on this truck is the 360 degree camera feature. The 360 degree camera feature helps the driver see his or her surroundings when backing up or parking in a tight spot. There are four cameras associated with the system. One in the grill, one in each of the side mirrors, and one in the tailgate. If any of these cameras are replaced, the specific alignment procedure requires a scan tool and special 360 degree camera calibration mats. To determine the exact location of the calibration mats, Ford service information is required. Other information about this procedure that you'll find in the service information include the vehicle must be parked in a flat open area with no more than one inch height variation from the rear of the vehicle to the front of the vehicle. Additionally, you'll need six feet of clear space on the left and right side of the vehicle seven feet in front of the vehicle, and 11 feet behind the vehicle. Having this information at your fingertips during the blueprinting process is critical. The active park assist on this 2015 Ford F-150 allows the truck to be parallel parked with no steering input from the driver. The sensors for this system are located in the bumper and in each of the fenders. The driver selects the park assist feature, the truck scans for a parking spot large enough, then notifies the driver to stop and shift in reverse. Next, the truck navigates the vehicle into the parking spot. The driver controls the speed, but doesn't do any of the steering. If the sensors are removed or replaced, a scan tool and fabricated pylons are required for the alignment procedure. Blind spot detection is available on this F-150 and a scan tool is required for proper alignment. Ford also offers a dual pane panoramic roof, which does have an initialization process, but doesn't appear to require a scan tool. This 2015 F-150 is equipped with active grill shutters. It's important to identify that during damage analysis. However, following replacement, there is no specific calibration requirement. Ford offers adaptive cruise control on the 2015 F-150. The adaptive cruise control allows the vehicle to set the cruise control speed along with the follow distance of the vehicle in front of them. If the truck approaches a slower moving vehicle, it automatically slows the truck. If that vehicle speeds up or moves over allowing the driver to pass, the cruise automatically resumes to the set speed. The adaptive cruise control is also integrated with Ford's collision warning system. If the collision warning system senses a collision is imminent, a series of red LEDs illuminate on the dash. The radio is quieted and an audible alarm is sounded. 
The brakes will also be pre-energized. The adaptive cruise control sensor is located in the left front of the vehicle behind the bumper, so it is subject to damage if involved in a frontal collision. If the adaptive cruise control radar is damaged and requires replacement, it'll have to be aligned both vertically and horizontally. Horizontal alignment will require a scan tool and the vehicle will have to be running during the alignment procedure. An available option of the 2015 F-150 is Ford's Lane Keep Assist. The Lane Keep Assist has two modes, aid and alert. The aid helps steer the vehicle back into the correct lane, and the alert function provides visual and tactile feedback when a lane departure is detected. Camera alignment is required for the Lane Keep Assist to function correctly. There are a number of situations that will require the camera alignment procedure, including windshield replacement, a change in tire size, suspension repair or alignment, front airbag deployment, and interior mirror replacement. The camera alignment procedure is initiated using the diagnostic scan tool. It will require about 10 minutes of driving at 40 miles per hour to complete.